Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to control our motor with our L293D H-bridge. Okay? So, last time we talked about this H-bridge and we said actually we need three outputs from our Arduino. We need direction 1, direction 2 and an enable pin. Uh, so, if we want to use our Arduino uh, like this, this was the setup from last time. So this is direction 2. Four. This is direction 1. I'll put it to 5. And this is the motor enable pin. This I'll put to 6. All right. Good. So now we should have uh, the hardware setup done. We need it to power on. Uh, ooh, of course, I need to uh, combine the minus of the Arduino, the ground of the Arduino. We will have it here with the ground of our device, of course, uh, to reach the same the same base level. So let's connect it. Bim, bidi, bim. And we are on. All right. Good. So this is the hardware setup, and now we want to have a look at the at the software, at the computer. Okay. So at the computer, I will simply start with a brand new sketch. I will save it under a certain name. Save as programs I use. And we will have 24. Okay. I will start by defining all our pins. Uh, well, there's the motor pin. This was, so this is enable the motor actually. Six, then we have uh, the direction one bin. This was five. And we have the direction two pin. Ooh, this is not working pretty well. Underscore. All right, so uh, the pin modes. Copy and paste. They all, all shall be outputs. And here we'll just again make this in steps. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So for this i, I will start at minus. I will also define the motor steps as. Shall be again six steps, let's say, yeah. at minus motor steps. We will start and until i is smaller or equal than motor steps, and we will get i bigger. All right. This is good. Um, if i is smaller than zero. Mm -hmm. Then we will have it. Uh, then we may make a digital write. And why will we move in direction one? So we will set direction one high. And direction two low. Good, and else, 
or other way around. So this is the change. This is the change of the direction. All right. And now we only have to write one analog right. And we will write this to the motor pin, so the enable pin. There we have to pull out PWM, pulse width modulation, how much? And this must be uh, 255 multiplied by the absolute value of I. Uh, divided by motor steps. This should hopefully do the trick. And then we have to delay a certain certain time. Yeah. I will also make this as a compile time constant because then I have all my definitions above. 2000 milliseconds, 2 seconds should be sufficient. Okay, does not look too bad. Pressing Ctrl and T, or if you find in tools, uh, auto format, yeah, then it looks already pretty nice. Good, let's see if this is already working. Uh, let's upload this, turn on here, the power supply, let's see what, ooh, turning in this direction, getting slower and slower, now it's off, now it will turn in this direction. Yes, yes, it is, oh, quick change, it is working as expected, right? So it is working as expected. This is nice, this is nice. So we have in one direction full speed going down to zero. You see, if we are at low speeds, at low PWM values, it is very hard for this thing to turn away. Mm -hmm. Wonder how we could help this. Yeah. Maybe we can use a higher voltage. Okay, so maybe we should not use uh, here this 5 volts. Yeah. Maybe we can find something that will have higher voltage. For you, I don't think this is very easy to manage, yeah. but let's have a look together in our state starter kit, okay? So what we do have in our starter kit is a 9 volt battery, right? So I will remove here this, mm, this power supply. Yeah. Get rid of it. I will use to have minus distributed here. I will distribute the minus everywhere. Yeah. I will open this packet of the nine volt battery. And now, now it's getting a little bit, uh, maybe. Not that scientific. Let's call it not that scientific, because what I just want to do is use this this uh, plug here, yeah. Connect it. Here I will plug this again. Yeah. This side here. The program is still the same. Okay. This side here is the voltage the voltage uh, of the power supply of the of the 
of the motor. All right. So what I'm actually what I'm going to do is use here this plus. Okay, and I also will use a blue line for minus. Yeah. And this connector here on the outside it has minus, so we'll call it there. Yeah. And in the inside it has plus, so I will put it there. Oh. Nine volts now. Here, this is how I, I hold it. But also with nine volts, it has difficulties to start. But you see, it's working with nine volts as before, maybe a little bit faster even. Yeah. I guess this battery is a little bit low. Yeah. A thing which I do not advise at all, yeah, but I will do anyway, yeah, is I will use here, this is the 9 volt output of our power supply. Yeah. So I will use this 9 volt output of our power supply and make it this. Ah! No? Yeah! <laughs> Second step is already... Ooh! Yeah! Nine volt is brutal! <laughs> Actually, let's see if this is getting hot. Not that severe. This is a six volt, uh, six volt motor. Uh, well, I said a little bit, a little bit is okay. Yeah. And if you are using this nine volt all the time, it will simply heat up and burn. All right. So it is pretty safe to use this five volts here. Yeah. Connect it, turn it on. Then it's maybe not that wild, but safe. Okay? Good! Working! So, uh... What you could do, yeah, maybe you could put in two buttons, yeah, to make the motor faster and, and slower with the press of a button, yeah, so that we can pretty much the same, uh, as we have used for turning on and off the LED. You remember, yeah, the brightness of the LED, the stimming switch, yeah, you could do, you could do two buttons, one for higher, one for lower, for instance, yeah. Could try this. I'm pretty sure you can manage to do this. Yeah. We'll now turn it off and unplug here the navel pin so that it is silent. Uh, yeah. So this is this is now now with this little device we can control speed and we can control uh, direction. Good, right? Um, this is usually how it is done, using an H-bridge, a corresponding motor, and that's it. So, that's the DC motor. Yeah? Next time, we're talking about something which is called encoder. Uh, what an encoder is, we have some encoder inside there, this is the encoder. What the encoder is, yeah, and what is it good for? Turning knob. Uh, and how is it working? Will then be in next video. Okay? So next video encoder. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.